Reddit by Reddit recap. Men. What is it about eye contact that drives you wild? Eye contact is a green light at a stop sign. If I see a cute girl and I'm getting eye contact then that means we both like what we see. That followed up by a hello gets the ball rolling. 100%. The opposite to contrapositive is also true. If I'm not getting strong, or any, eye contact or any other form of body language acknowledgement, I'm going to assume she's timid or for whatever reason being aloof, disinterest, vanity, hard to get, to cool. Neither tray I find attractive or worth approaching over. I usually don't make eye contact with strangers, especially guys that I find attractive because I'm too shy and feel self-conscious, which can easily be read as me being snobbish or disinterested. I heard that if a girl is looking and is stroking playing with her hair, all the while looking at a man, that's a good sign of interest. Or is this fact bogus? As a kid I never understood why some girls looked at me for way too long. I assumed they were just nice because after that long look they'd give me a smile but now I know that's how they shoot their shot so if I like a girl and she's giving me the prolonged look I'd do the same and eventually approach her. Well, hello there, I have been gazing at you from afar. I think I can boil it down to the sad basic thing, as a man nobody really sees me, just the role I play. So someone looking at you with care or appreciation is extremely rare, someone showing interest in you. Not what you do. I'm a woman and I have always been a bit uncomfortable holding eye contact with someone for longer than the average accepted length of time. Except my man I met last year. He is the only person, literally the only, whose eye contact I can hold and feel completely comfortable. We started out as friends and that was always the way I knew he felt for me what I felt for him. Because as the sayings go, the eyes don't lie and you really can see a person's true soul through them. It's very special to me and makes me feel alive. Definitely not just a guy thing. Eye contact is a great way to connect with people in general. It's a great way to bond with people and feel less isolated. I'm sure we've all had those experiences where something crazy or a door funny happens out in public and you look at the stranger next to you like oh my god. Did that just happen? And they return the look. No word spoken but now you feel a sense of comradeship with that person. Because looking at someone directly is deep and meaningful. You ever heard eyes are the gateway to the soul? Women don't say it as often but they feel the power of eye contact too. Eyes as an organ themselves are insanely beautiful no matter the color. Prob the most unique and colorful part of our bodies. That's beautiful. They say a lot and nothing too. It's not often you get to share in that eye contact the right way so it's even more special. Yes. Eye contact is so powerful I must be 100% sure I want to speak to the man. I know for a fact it lets them know you're interested so I have to use it carefully. It's really intense. It can be overwhelming sometimes. But a beautiful thing nonetheless. Okay Romeo. Because it can come off as affectionate and a lot of guys are affection starved, even those in relationships, they feel underappreciated. Sometimes you want to be the little spoon, have someone run their fingers through your hair and give you scratches, or just give you a gentle back rub. It's so out of the ordinary that it drives us wild because it makes us feel like we're someone. In terms of getting a man's attention, just making eye contact with him from across the room for longer than you would normally signals to him that you're interested in him do that and, if he finds you attractive and is available and finds the courage, he will approach you. Women just don't make eye contact with men they don't know for more than a glance unless they're interested in them. So we know what it means when you do that. It's a very important form non-verbal communication. When you make eye contact and hold it, it's like you've both said hi to each other. It depends upon the circumstances. It may just be an acknowledgement between two people. But holding it for more than a few seconds is a non-verbal way of saying hi. It's also a good way of acknowledging another person when speaking isn't possible. Like in a loud club, when you're with other people and can't talk, eyes are the windows into a person's soul. The eyes are windows to the soul. William Shakespeare, the eyes are the groin of the face. Dwight Scroot. Simply put, a lot of us guys don't get a ton of female attention. Period. A small compliment, a little comment, they go farther than you think. So eye contact, the act of in that moment giving that guy your undivided attention, 
it's understandable why that draws guys to someone. The one with the smirk, it's brutal, when girlfriend does it. World War III is about to go down in bed. World War III is about to go down in bed. Is is that good? Depends if she's German or Italian. But it releases crazy amounts of oxytocin when you keep eye contact with someone. On a personal level, I did the 36 questions with a stranger on a plane, and at the end of it you hold eye contact with each other for 4 minutes straight. That was the best first date of my entire life, and it took place entirely on a plane. In my culture eye contact is seen as a challenge, so we don't make eye contact too often. What culture? Out of curiosity? Gorilla. Navajo. Eyes are a window to the soul. Many signs come from the eyes both subconscious and not. For example, if you make eye contact with someone who's interested in you even just to talk to or whatever their eyebrows will involuntarily twitch. What's curious is that even if you don't consciously notice, if you share the interest, you'll return the twitch like a weird eyebrow handshake. Your eyes also respond to thought, as mentioned previously. Personally, I find a woman's most attractive and memorable feature of a woman to be her eyes. I might forget their name, but can almost always tell you their eye color. There are many reasons, and they all relate to challenge, vulnerability, and airing. In the particular case of being driven wild, it's the most extreme example of vulnerability crossing over into daring. There's a crossover in cuteness and exiness that's caused by the overlap of vulnerability and daring. To be daring is exy, to be vulnerable is cute, but they overlap because being daring requires making yourself vulnerable. It's like a signal that you have something stronger beyond the vulnerability. Otherwise, how could you just voluntarily expose it? It's kind of like taunting someone. People taunt by exposing vulnerability to others with the implication that they can win despite exposing their own vulnerability. Something similar is going on with exiness, but different enough that it overlaps with cuteness. Well, I guess violent taunts could also be considered cute but in a dismissive way. Making eye contact with someone exposes yourself to their total attention. You're implicitly inviting them to pay full attention to you. And that's a vulnerability. It's a vulnerability because there's no telling what they might think, see, say or do and it's all about you. But at the same time it's a challenge. Because the other person must do the same thing to actually accept the invitation. In the case of lovers, this all ends up meaning eye contact is a challenge to be exy by mutually exposing vulnerability. Because the opposite shows either awkwardness or lack of confidence or lack of interest and then makes us feel the same way. I was dating a girl for 6 months and the one thing throwing me off, which I couldn't figure out for ages, was that she never looked me in the face while we were talking. I asked her and she said she really struggled to look people in the eye. I let it slide and we broke up eventually. Eye contact definitely wasn't the number one issue but it was a contributing factor. Things just felt superficial. A woman's eyes are a highly attractive feature on her. Compared to men's, look at how most women are drawn or painted. Emphasis on the eyes. Exotic eyes is mostly used when referencing a woman. Also, most women won't look you in the eyes, because it's taught that it's a confirmation of attraction. So when one does, us men turn into mush. Eye contact is surprisingly intimate. Try holding eye contact with someone for more than a minute. Someone who's willing to do so. Don't do this with strangers. And you'll see that it can be kinda scary and thrilling. Seeing someone actually seeing us and not just looking at us or in our general direction shows that the person is interested in seeing more. I did it with my girlfriend's cat, without blinking, and she attacked me. Mayo that's how you can see animals have a different perception of body language. You defy the cat and appear a threat. You can see its eyes become bigger as well, which shows he feels endangered and has a boost of adrenaline. It's not the eye contact, it's the attitude and predisposition behind it. It's all about the person. The eyes are simply the bridge that brings the connection. Beautifully put. Agree bro. I think, it's connection. You have to have chemistry to feel comfortable looking into each other's eyes. If it feels good mo awkward, that's attraction. The eyes. Chico, they never lie. I thought it was the hips. Common misunderstanding. It's actually only Shakira's hips that don't lie. 
Everyone is talking about eye contact with women. It works between men as well but is even rarer. You want to know which guy friend is going to drop everything to help you in a crisis. The one you've made eye contact with in a deep conversation is 100% going to be the first one there. Best comment of the day. Okay girls, I wanna know if this would be a good idea. Say I'm very interested in a person. I've developed feelings for her and I think she's interesting and cool. I wanna start out being her friend. But I don't wanna seem gay. I wanna become best friends with her and over time, we maybe become something more. Here's some problems. I'm an 11th grader now, and I've been a little hyper retard in the past, and have been unattractive up until now. Yes, I've been getting better, but I'm too socially awkward. I'm not into sports, mainly because only popular kids play them, and are a doubt you bag to me. I make excellent grades, but lack social skills. QZTC. I've always heard to let them come to you, and don't come to them, but nobody wants to come to me. I don't necessarily look ugly, and I'm in an average shape. I'm a gamer, yes, I'm quite a nerd too. I could tell you anything about Dragon Ball, of course I could ask out any person, but I want someone of quality. I'm not intending to flex or anything, but I'm a very organized and clean person, and, although I'm a gamer, responsibilities come first. I haven't had much experience with girls in the past, and I've only been in two fake relationships, in like 5th grade blah blah. What should I change or improve? Watch for, etc. Note, I do not intend to be egotistic or flex anything, I just want whoever, reads this to give me some advice. What? Bye. <laughs>